What I'm about to tell you guys applies to both Pokemon collectors and investors. And we're gonna use this example of surging sparks because these boxes are over $200 now. And if you're new to the hobby, I understand how that could be very daunting. That's just crazy. You're wanting to get probably 151. You maybe want to check out surging sparks and the boxes are already pricing you out and you're maybe wanting to, you know, uh, move on to something else. Well, there is hope and I'm gonna explain that, but first we're just gonna take a look at this chart. Uh, surging sparks back here, it was $121 on TCG player. It was 204, it's come down a little to 203. Uh, sales are seeing 200, 214, 200, 205, 195, 197. So where I want to go with this, there's a few there's a few things. Now, first off, I, I addressed this in my, uh, a little bit in my investing for 2025 video. But the main thing is, there's two things. One is don't freak out about these prices, okay? I can understand if you're newer to the hobby where you could just be freaking out. You don't want to chase these. Now, that's not saying that buying at 200, you can't make money, but I'm not doing that. Okay. And I'll give you, I'll give you an example, a very specific example of something that happened recently. And I will pull it up uh, right here. Where did it go? Paldea. So Paldea Evolved got a restock, reprint, whatever you want to call it. Uh, somewhat recently, I want to say it was around here, October, one of these drops, I think it was this October, this one right here, uh, because the low was $120. So with Paldea Evolved, it's it was the leading set for a long time. And I I was of the mindset of, I didn't want to buy in the 140 range. Not that you can't make money there, because uh, traditionally like you can buy boxes at MSRP, which for the, for the old era is 140, for this era it's 160. And if you're holding them for five to 10 years, that you will be profitable, right? That's commonly thought of as, you know, the, the way to do it. But I thought, oh, I don't like that price point. And I told myself that I was going to wait. It, well, I'll wait for a reprint. Well, when that reprint, restock, whatever you want to call it, if it was just a restock, that was a blip right here. And I think that lower number, the 120, it was, that was, it went down to 120 and that was it. I was okay with missing. You don't have to chase every single set, okay? It's not like I, I do have some Paldea boxes, but not as much as I would like. It didn't get to the price I would want, and right? So I was willing to accept that I'm not gonna get as much Paldea evolved as I would like. Now, going from Surging Sparks at 200 a box, we'll let's talk about Twilight. Twilight Masquerade right now is technically on the decline. It's not super surprising. I'm not saying it's gonna drop a lot, but with, with Surging Sparks coming out in Prismatic, Twilight for me wasn't the most desirable set. However, it had a desirable chase card. I do agree with the Greninja being a good chase, but so not every card like this chart, if you were to have bought, you know, 167 over MSRP for Twilight, you know, it's come down from there. So not that once again, long term, these boxes, 167 price point, if you really are on the five to ten year cycle then you'll, you will be just fine. But you always want to try and, and get in when sets are lower, right? I mean, if you zoom out on, on this set, you know, this set was a hundred bucks, right? Just like, just like surging was pre-order. So that brings me moving forward. And this is talking mostly about surging, prismatic, and probably the team rocket set and the partner set coming up after that. There's a lot of hype sets coming up and the market is crazy right now. Here's your, here's your example. Don't, don't be like this. These are the Pokemon Center ETBs for Prismatic. They have a really nice promo, right? Stamp promo, gonna do really well. Do not be buying these. I, I understand why some people buy these because some people don't have access to the Pokemon Center. So they have to buy on the third party, third market, right? And I get that, I get that. But if you have access to the Pokemon Center, do not pay these prices. There will be another restock of these. You just need to be quick. You need to start pre-ordering. That is, you need to pay at or slightly above MSRP. I don't like saying that, but that is the market that we are in. So PC ETBs only sell in the Pokemon Center. So these will be available again, most likely. They usually come back into stock uh, one or two times, depending. These will, these will most likely come back in stock. So do not freak out, okay? Just keep an eye out. There's tons of great Instagram pages, Discord servers where you can join and you will be alerted when these go live again. Now, same thing happens for here. Now, this is the regular ETB, right? 
Currently, these are going for, they have the market at $90. Looks like last sold was 83, but then there's 98, 98, 83. Same thing with, these are regular ETBs. I get the hype. You're going to want to rip the product if you want to rip it or keep it sealed. We're so far away from the release. You're going to be able to pre-order from websites like GameStop, okay? Uh, I'm sure Amazon. If you're buying from Amazon or Walmart, make sure that it is buy, um, fulfilled by Walmart or by Amazon because there, there's there been known to be some issues there. So as long as you're buying or Best Buy, right? There's tons of retailers that will sell this at MSRP. They will not sell it above MSRP. So that you guys just need to be patient in your approach, right? You need to not do not FOMO into some of these crazy high prices. Not that these sets, not that this ETB won't go well above 100, but there will be a time you could go down to your local Walmart, your local Target, and probably pick them up off the shelf. It might be tough. You might need to get there early, right? So my point is that these things can be had and to not freak out, okay? If you haven't, if you weren't in when COVID happened, COVID, like, people were buying any Pokemon product off the shelves. They would go to Walmart or Target. I, they had to like limit it to like one per person for a while at some targets. Like people were fighting. They stopped selling. They literally stopped selling cards for a while because people were fighting over them. And if you've seen, there's been some TikTok videos of people fighting over the, the Costco ones. So we're kind of getting back to that point, but don't, don't let that affect you guys too much. Okay. So here's the other things. There's a, a few other things to think about. So besides, for the new sets moving forward, you're going to pre-order, right? You're going to, you know, look up your good reputable websites. You know, you got Pokey Annie, Rare Candy, uh, Forge and Fire Gaming, it's Granddad's Cards. There's tons, right, of reputable online places that you can pre-order. Okay, I'll give you an example. Also, <clears throat> before we go any further, Forge and Fire Gaming, I did pay a little bit more for my boxes and cases of surging, but they did not cancel on me, Okay. That's the other thing is some of these smaller like eBay pages, smaller distributors or not distributors, retailers, they can't, they saw where surging was at and they canceled people's orders to make more money. So that's another thing to think about, right? Um, Pre-order from a reputable seller. That's, that's the other thing that, and that's, you're going to have to put the, the truth is you guys are going to have to put forth more work. Okay. If you want, you can get the product. It's going to be there. You have to put forth more work. You're going to have to pay a little bit extra, but you're going to have to work hard. It's not going to fall into your lap. These aren't $80, $90 boxes anymore, okay? However, speaking of that, <clears throat> I just want to bring up a, a few little things from the Scarlet and Violet era that I, I do think are relevant, okay? Now, just hear me out. Don't, don't, don't yell at me in the comments quite yet, okay? SV1, SV base. These boxes are up right now, 11% in the past three months. 5% in the past month. They're, they're not that expensive. Okay. They're just over a hundred bucks a box. 105, 105 is market. Last solds though were 110, 110, 110. So eh, it's not 105 anymore. It's 110. Okay. These, okay. <clears throat> Please understand when I say this. Um, okay. And I'll use my example of how I invest. I do not skip sets anymore. Okay. Uh, there was a time when I used to, I have every SV set. Okay. Um, and I'm not going to miss out. So not every box, sorry, I'm trying to preface this in a way where I won't get harassed in the comments. Uh, I'm going to get harassed anyway, so I'm just going to go for it. Not every box will go to the moon. I understand that, but mo almost all boxes, not all, almost all are good investments long-term. So if you are really truly on a five to 10 year time frame with your boxes, you should pick up some SV base. If we really look at the set, it's actually good. Yes, the pull rates are easy. Yes, it was heavily printed, but it's not bad, okay? There will be a point that this set will become somewhat desirable just when the boxes hit a certain price. It's just like a psychological thing, okay? We'll give you a few more examples. Um, okay, so Stellar Crown got a lot of hate. There's a few, there's some really good cards in it, I think. This card, this box just shot up recently. It was 107, now it's 115. This is, this is a more recent set, but this is the same thing. These sets will be worth more in the future. So if I, between these sets, I got a few more. I would lean more SV base. I do think that that has potential. I do like Stellar Crown as well, but Paradox Rift, I have been vocal about before. Uh, 
and I got, you know, I, I remember getting some hate when I made a few videos on Paradox Rift. There was somebody in the comments that was like, 151 is the only investment. Why would you talk about anything else? And guys, I love 151, but if you're trying to get in now, that time, that, that ship has sailed, okay? Paradox Rift going at a, you know, 105, 106 a box. If you haven't looked at the set, there's tons of really great illustration rares. There's some good SIRs. This box going to 140, 150, 160 a box. Those are really good gains, especially if you're getting cases. Anyways, so where I'm trying to go with this is maybe if you missed out on some of these, maybe if you missed out on Surging Sparks, I, I don't, I really don't think this is a hot take, but some people might take it. Maybe don't buy Surging Sparks at 200. Maybe you get Paradox Rift at 107. Okay. Go back, go back and look through the older eras. Not, you know, not every box does well. Some, some are still at MSRP. I think Vivid Voltage is like at MSRP, but that's Vivid Voltage, right? So that's why I diversify too. You never know what, what exactly is going to take off. Uh, I remember a time when Fusion Strike, people didn't like Fusion Strike, right? I remember seeing shorts or TikTok videos. I can't remember which it was. There was a guy who was like, I'm opening Fusion Strike on the toilet every day. <laughs> that's what he what was his toilet set, like literally. Pretty decent content, I guess. Kind of funny. Anyways, there's other sets too. Obsidian Flames. Uh, at 120, right? A little bit more expensive. However, this set has done well. Charizard set. Uh, some Charizard sets have flopped in the past. So like I said, between these sets, I would lean more Paradox and ba SV base. I do like Stellar Crown as well. Then we have Temporal Forces, which is up 11% in the past three months. It's at 120 a box. Uh, last sale was 135 though. This is another set. Uh, we'll pull it up while I'm here. I wasn't going to, but we'll pull it up, um, some special illustration rares that they have, right? You have the Raging Bolt here at $85. This is the Raikou variant. You have the Walking Wake. Uh, these are popular Pokemon variants of them. Uh, the Ghastly card. These it, these Pokemon might be a little weird to you, right? You might not like them, but they are stunning cards in person. I mean, the artwork on this Iron Crown. So, <clears throat> where am I? <laughs> in summary, okay. There are other plays to make, right? The market, once again, if, you, if you're in it short term, because there's the reality of it is most of you probably watching this video or into this will probably be without, out of this hobby, out of, or maybe out of investing, right? And maybe just collect, which there's nothing wrong with that, right? Uh, in six months, a year, two years, probably tops. Uh, I don't remember where I heard that from. Somebody was talking about that. Uh, that's kind of, maybe it was Rudy. It was Rudy from Alpha Investments. I think he was saying most of those people, it's half a year to two years at max, but I think it's it's really half a year to, to 12 months. So, and while there's nothing wrong with that, just keep in mind, like, if you're looking, if you're not serious about this, if you don't believe that you can make money or you're reasoning any, right, is you're not in it fully, don't buy a surging box at 200, okay? For you to double your money, which everyone loves to double their money, right? You'd have to go to 400, Okay, and that's possible. That's totally possible. We could see that at 400, but I, for me, I'd rather get an SV base box, two, an SV and a Paradox Rift, throw those in my closet and forget about them. And the, I, that's just my approach. Let me know what you guys think. I, I've been a little hounded on this before in the past because, I don't know, a lot of people are just, they only want, only invest in the latest and greatest, right? And you know, while there is something to be said for that, I, I did talk about that a little bit in a video in the past. We talked about surefire bets. We talked about XY evolutions and evolving skies. And if you would have done that uh, at that time, and I think we touched on team up, although team up, I think is kind of stagnant. But if you did either evolving, I think, well, obviously evolving skies, if you did evolving skies, and you bought just cases and cases of evolving skies, you'd be up from then, right? Not a ton, right? Those, the, but the boxes are up, the Umbreon is up, right? So you, you can just invest only in the best set if you think it's the best, if you think 151 is the best. Only invest in 151. But that's not my approach, okay? I like I like to diversify. I'm going to get different sets, okay? Uh, because also at the end of the day, I, I'm, I'm not just an investor. I am a collector. I like to have all the sets sealed, right? I got singles from the sets, right? So... <clears throat> When you're a, when you're both, when you're a collector and investor, you look at it a little differently. Um, you know, like like you're gonna get your your shrouded fables, right? Your shrouded fables, not good, has not done well. 
That doesn't mean that it can't do decent in the future. You got your Pokemon Go set from last generation, right? Um, Pokemon Go set not doing well, okay? Not that it hasn't had some gains, but, right? That's why, just because you like a set, there's a lot of people that like Pokemon Go. There's a lot of people that like Shroud of Fable. And there's nothing wrong with that. Also, I don't say this enough, and this is at the end of the video, and probably not a lot of people are going to hear it, but there's nothing wrong with taking profits, okay? I'm not going to, nobody's going to look down on you, and if they are, you don't want to be associated with them anyways. But if you, if you pre-ordered Surging at 100, and you sold at 200, I don't blame you. Go for it. Don't ever feel bad for taking profits. Like, that's, if, if you guys want to make money, cover your cost basis, like, go for it. I, I don't, I'm not doing that right now personally, but I don't blame you, and I, I totally understand why anybody would do that, right? I, I I totally get it. So in summary, okay, do not freak out moving forward. There are other plays that are viable. If you want only the newest sets, which is fine, you're going to have to pre-order. You're going to have to work for it. It's not, these aren't hand me out, hand me down, hand me downs, handouts. <laughs> these aren't free handouts, okay? If, if you're going to go to Costco, you're going to have to fight some people for it not fight people well maybe i don't know you're gonna have to hustle so in summary play, there's still plays to be made okay you're just gonna have to work for it this isn't a this isn't as easy of a market it was nice you know when boxes were 80 90 dollars and you can just load up and just let them be but the growth the growth wasn't there it was stagnant right it wasn't it, it's i feel like it's a double-edged sword it's exciting now but it's kind of scary, right? I, but the growth is there, and it's a good time. So, anyways, in summary, uh, in summary, I'm gonna keep summarizing. I'm just gonna keep summarizing my same thing. No, I'm kidding. Uh, we're done here, guys. Um, rant concluded. Um, I've heard that you guys like rants. Some of you guys. <laughs> um, maybe I should just do a. I should just do more rants, like a ranty, ranty Wednesday, like a ranty Thursday. Now, Friday rants. Anyways, I don't know. I, I should do that. I should do that. Just a video where I don't even pull up any charts. I'm just talking. I'm just ranting. Um, I got things to rant about. I got things to rant about. Uh, TCG player, get the Japanese listings off of the English. Just get them off. Don't allow them. That was one of my rants from the other day. And I'm pissed about that. Get it off. Don't allow it anymore. It should not be allowed. Um, anyways, uh, that's going to do it for this one, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.